I've excerpted some of the rules of professional conduct uh, for our talk, and Rule 5.1, um, which is the, the rule um, of lawyer as advocate, it's very interesting what chapter it falls under. It doesn't fall under the chapter of re relationship with clients. That rule falls under the chapter of relationship to the administration of justice. So the guidance that we have from the law society about how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in adversarial proceedings and how we're supposed to act as advocates has more to do with our role in the administration of justice than it does with our, our role in direct relationship to our client. And you know the, the law society is, is very clear and the language is consistent across the country. Um, that we are to represent our clients resolutely and honorably within the limits of the law, which means raising every argument fearlessly, um, to advance every argument, ask every question, however distasteful, that the lawyer thinks will help the client's case, and in, uh, endeavor to obtain for the client the benefit of every remedy and defense authorized by law. A lawyer should refrain from expressing the lawyer's personal opinions on the merits of the client's case to a court or tribunal. And you know, beyond, beyond the role within the administration of justice, the thing that sets lawyers apart from other people providing services to the despised is we also have a, a, a duty of loyalty to the client. And so uh, uh, we cannot abandon our client uh, when the shit hits the fan. And you know the example of boys from the United States is, is a great example because what happens is, boys is representing Weinstein before the shit hits the fan. And he's also representing the New York Times and the New York Times takes the position that he was in a conflict of interest. So that, that can be debated and, and there's, there are arguments on both sides of that debate. 